Good morning, good morning to my friends. Hello, friends. I'm so glad you're here with me. We've made it to another edition of Circle and Storytime with Miss Shannon. Thank you, friends, for joining me. We are going to have an amazing day together. Are you ready? Let me see your thumbs up if you're ready. Say, I'm ready, Miss Shannon. Okay, friends, we've made it to the month of February 2023. We're going to spell February together and count from one all the way to 13. Today is the 13th, but number 14 is there because tomorrow is Valentine's Day. Miss Shannon loves Valentine's Day. Okay, and we're going to do an amazing activity together. I hope you're ready. Let me see those thumbs up again and we're going to get started. All right, friends, let's begin. Good morning, boys and girls. Today is February 13th, 2023. Let's spell February together. F-E-B-R-U-A-R-Y, February. Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, and tomorrow will be the fourteenth, Valentine's Day. All right, friends, now that we've counted from one to fourteen, who knows what today is? Did someone say Monday? It is. If you said Monday, you are correct. Let's sing our favorite song. Today is Monday. Today is Monday. All day long. All day long. Today is Monday. Today is Monday. All day long. All day long. Today is Monday. Happy, happy Monday. Happy, happy Monday day. And we have Monday right here. And Monday begins with the letter M. Can we say that together? M, mm M, -mm. Monday. We're going to put Monday up on the board. Okay, friends, if today is Monday, what was yesterday? Was it Sunday? Mm -hmm. If you said Sunday, you are correct. Here, Sunday and Sunday begins with the letter S. Let's say it together. S -s Sunday. And let's put Sunday on the board. Let's sing. Today is Monday and yesterday was Sunday. <laughs> Today is Monday and yesterday was Sunday. Today is Monday. Happy, happy Monday. Happy, happy Monday. All right, friends, Miss Shan has a new part to her song. And guess what? It goes a little like this. If today is Monday and yesterday was Sunday, what will tomorrow be? Did someone say Tuesday? If you said Tuesday, you are correct. Let's grab our Tuesday. There's Tuesday and Tuesday begins with the letter T. T, T, Tuesday. And tomorrow will be Tuesday. Let's put Tuesday on the board. There we have it. Days of the week. Days of the week. Days of the week. Days of the week. There's Sunday and there's Monday. There's Tuesday and there's Wednesday. There's Thursday and there's Friday. And then there's Saturday. Days of the week. 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 How many days are in a week? Did someone say seven? I heard someone say seven. You're correct. There are seven days in a week. Good job, friends. All right, now that we know that there are seven days in a week, it's time to move on to our season. Guess what, friends? We are still in the winter season. And here in Maryland, guess what, friends? It's a little cold, but lately it's been warm too. So our weather board says cold. It starts out a little cold in the morning, friends, but guess what? It's nice and sunny and it's a beautiful day by the afternoon. It's been 
warm and we haven't seen much snow yet. Miss Sheehan doesn't know if we'll get any more snow for the rest of the winter. We shall see. All right, friends, let's start on our shout outs. If you are a girl, Miss Sheehan wants you to stand up tall, get ready to jump up and down and all around because you made it to preschool with Miss Shannon today. Are you ready? Are my girls here today? Are my girls here today? I jump up, down, and all around. My girls are here today. Hooray, my girls made it today. We're all my girls. Hello, ladies. Hello to all my girls. Miss Shannon is a girl. We just did some cool dance moves, right? All right, friends. Next up are the boys. Boys, are you here today? Oh, my boys said they're here. Boys, stand up tall. Are you ready to jump up and down and all around? All right, let's see those moves. Are my boys here today? Are my boys here today? I jump up down and all around my boys are here today hooray my boys made it today good job boys let's all get up together we made it to school today we made it to school today i jump up down and all around we made it to school today. Hooray. We made it to school today. Good job, friends. This is our school time together, right? Yep. We made it to school and to circle and story time with Miss Shannon. Give yourselves a clap and a pat on the back. You did amazing. All right, friends, we are going to stretch a little bit, sing a little bit, and then we're going to get right into a story two today and then our activity. All right. Let's begin. The next song is titled Amazing Me. And friends, we sing this song every time we read Amazing Me. And this story was written by yours truly. It was written by Miss Shannon. And we have a fun song that goes with it. So before we read the book, we're going to sing the song. Are you ready? It goes a little like this. A-M-A-Z-I-N-G. A-M-A-Z-I-N-G, A-M-A-Z-I-N-G, yes, we're all amazing, you and me, we're amazing, you and me, we're amazing, you and me, we're amazing, yes, we're all amazing. Can you sing that one more time with me? Yeah. And Miss Sheena likes to take the book when I am with my friends inside of my classroom and we all point to the letters of the book and sing the song together. A-M-A-Z-I-N-G, A-M-A-Z-I-N-G, A-M-A-Z-I-N-G. Yes, we're all amazing. You and me, we're amazing. You and me, we're amazing. You and me, we're amazing. Yes, we're all amazing. Yes, we're all amazing. Did you like that song, friends? Yay! All right, before we get into our book, friends, let's breathe in and breathe out. One more time. Breathe in and breathe out. Give yourselves a big squeeze. We have to stretch, right? We have to move a little bit. All right, friends, put your hands on your head. Put your hands on your shoulders. Touch your knees. Touch your toes. Breathe in, breathe out, and pretend Miss Shannon's giving you a big hug. You are amazing. Yes, you are. You, you, you. <laughs> All right, friends, let's get started on our first book. Amazing Me, written and illustrated by Shannon Guillaume. A is for amazing. When I wake up in the morning, I look into the mirror and say, I am simply amazing. M is for magnificent. I am special, one of a kind, a magnificent miracle. A is for adorable. My smile is bright. I'm filled with glee. Is it time for a picture? I can't wait to say cheese. 
Z is for zeal. Excitement fills me up. I am overjoyed with kindness and love. I is for incredible, great, fantastic, and funny describes me. N is for nice wherever I go and whatever I do, I'll always be courageous, caring, and true. G is for great. Greatness lives on the inside of me. Yes, I am awesome, fantastic, and amazing. There is only one intelligent, terrific, phenomenal me. All right, friends, and guess what? We're at the end of the book, but there's something really special about Miss Shannon's book. Guess what, friends? You can go back into the book and you can color it whatever color you like. So Miss Shannon has a dry erase marker. And guess what? If I'd like to color the amazing friend here, her name is Jada. She has two puff balls and a heart on her shirt. I can color her shirt and her skirt just like that. See how she's looking into the mirror? And guess what, friends? I can also erase it. Here's the top that was on my dry erase marker. And friends, I can do it all over again. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to take a red marker here. And let's see the amazing friends on this side. This is Nicholas, our other amazing friend. Let's color in his shirt just like that. And his shorts. And how about we color in George, our other amazing friend. We'll color his shirt blue, just like that. So friends, if you enjoy coloring, if you use a dry erase marker in this book, you can create as much as you want. And guess what, friends? You can make the characters whatever color you like. And that's why Miss Shannon, created the characters in black and white. So you can imagine them whatever color you'd like. And then this friend's name is Sana. Sana will have on a purple dress. And they're standing under a tree. They're talking. <laughs> and guess what, friends? If you like to use the top or your finger, you can just erase if you like and start all over again. All right, friends, I hope you enjoyed that story. And we're going to read another story, story number two, by another African-American author. Love is Me, written by Kiana Davis. Love is Me. Love is friends. How do you show love to your friends? Love is pizza. What do you love to eat? Love is family. Why is it important to love your family? Love is hugs. Who gives you the best hugs? Love is laughter. Who makes you laugh? Love is learning. If you were the teacher, what would you teach the class? Love is kind. Love is me. Love is you. Love is in everything we do. From the top of my head to the soles of my feet. I love every part of me. The end. I hope you guys like that. And there's some questions about love here that you can continue to read. This is an amazing book, friends. And I hope you enjoyed it. All right, friends, we are going to get started on our amazing caterpillar activity. Blank piece of paper. And Miss Shannon has a large blank piece of paper so that my full name can fit, right? I'm Miss Shannon. And today I'm just going to put Shannon on my heart caterpillar, okay? Okay, friends, I have my heart cutouts here, as you can see. And I have seven letters in my name. Friends, just like the days of the week, seven. Well, my name begins with the letter S, okay? And Ms. Shannon traced some dotted guided lines so that if you are practicing as well, you can just trace over the guided lines, okay? I have an S, 
H-A-N-N-O-N that fills up each heart. And we're going to put them across our paper in a pattern. If you're not familiar with what a pattern is, Miss Shannon's going to show you today. Okay, friends, let's start with the letter S, our first heart, which is the color red. If you said red, you are correct. I have a glue stick here, and I'm just going to take the glue and put some on the back, and I'm going to place that heart right here. Just like that. Right, and Miss Shannon just used construction paper. Okay, and I'm just going to place it right here. This is going to be the beginning of my heart caterpillar. And friends, because Miss Shannon is creating a pattern, that means I'm using two different colors and I start with one color and the very next color will be something different, which happens to be pink. And so in a straight line, Miss Shannon will create a red heart, pink heart, red heart, pink heart, red heart, pink heart, right? We can't see them continuing now, but we will as we go along in our project, okay? So we are going to do that together. And I like showing my friends a pattern with a hands-on activity like we're doing now so that we can all see it, right? We're using our eyes, our amazing eyes to see, oh, I have two different colors and I can create a pattern, which means I am going in order, right? In a particular order. And I'm going to keep it that way until my pattern is completely finished. All right, friends, so, so far I have red, pink. The next one is going to be red, which has the letter A on it. That's the next letter in my name. I hope you are creating your name. I know it looks amazing so far. Don't forget, if you are creating this activity with me, send me a picture. Ask mom or and dad or whoever you may be doing this activity with to send me a picture. I'd love to see it. All right, friends. Next is A. Miss Shannon has to put her hearts a little close together so that all of my letters can fit. Red heart, pink heart. Red heart and the next one will be pink. All right. And so the next letter in my name is the letter N. And I have my heart that has my letter with the dotted line so that I can trace over it, right? And practice. So we're going to have that end sit right there. All right. Let's see what we have so far. Red heart, pink heart. Red heart, pink heart. What's next, friends? Red heart. If you said red heart, you are correct. And the next letter is N again. I have two N's in my name. I actually have three, but two N's go side by side. And I'm taking my glue stick and just like that, as I get my glue on the back, we are going to place this right next to the pink heart. All right, just like that. And let's start from the beginning and see what we've got so far. Red heart, pink heart, red heart, pink heart, red heart. What goes next? Pink. If you said pink, you are correct. Good job, friends. We're coming along very well. All right. And once we place our pink heart here, we have one more heart, right? Miss Shannon has seven letters in her name. There's that O. Do you have an N or an O in your name? Maybe, maybe not, that's okay. All right. I know some friends have M or an A, right? An S, an I. Okay, our last heart. And this has the letter M. And Miss Shannon's going to put that right there. And let's start from the beginning. Let's see what we, red heart, pink heart. Red heart, pink heart. Red heart, pink heart. 
red heart. Okay, friends, I have the body of my caterpillar. Machine is calling a caterpillar. If you want to call it something different, totally okay. I'm going to create two antennas up at the top. I'm going to take my red crayon and make two antennas, one that goes up here and another that goes here. And then I'm going to use two pink heartfelt stickers. They look like this. And I am going to put my stickers right up here. And then I'm going to make two little eyes, okay? All right, friends, I have my two antennas and I'm going to grab my black crayon and I'd like to create two little circles that will represent the eyes. One here. <laughs> And if you like friends, you can take this white crayon here just a little bit to make the eyes look realistic. And I'll put a few lashes there. <laughs> one, two, three. One, two, three. Look at my caterpillar, my heart pillar, <laughs> if you want to call it. And friends, you can also take your red crayon and let's do some little legs, if you will, for our heart pillar or caterpillar, whatever you want, whatever you'd like to call it. All right, friends, there's our caterpillar or our heart pillar. And guess what, friends? We can't forget to trace our name. So Machine is going to take the red crayon and I'm going to trace over my dotted lines for each letter. Let's start with S, Miss Shannon, Shannon, the Shannon part <laughs> begins with the letter S, H is next, A is next, N, straight line down, over, N, straight line down, over, Next is letter O, it's a circle around for O, and in straight line down, over. There we have it, and you can write Happy Valentine's Day if you like, or if you would like to draw some hearts on your paper, I'll draw a few. All right, friends, I hope you enjoyed our activity. I had an amazing time with you today. I hope you enjoyed our stories as well. Until next time, friends, remember you are awesome, you are intelligent, and you are amazing. Yes, you. Happy Valentine's Day and happy Black History Month. See you soon, friends.